This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Find out how you can help preserve our area's history next. Welcome everyone to another day of local information. I'm Ken Karen. I'm so happy you can be with us. The United Way of Greater Hazelton announced who will be their next leader on Monday. Gary Perna Jr. will take over for Pat Ward as president and CEO. Ward is retiring after holding the position for 16 years. Perna is the City of Hazelton's supervisor of recreation and will start with the local United Way on August 1st as interim president and CEO. The United Way of Greater Hazelton works with 29 nonprofits to help improve life for those living in our community. Everything old seems new again at the Greater Hazelton Area Historical Society's museum, except the roof. They need a new one to help keep their entire collection safe. Here's Lisa Sugart with more. The Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum needs your help. The building needs a new roof. Here to tell us all the details and how you can help is Charles McElwee, who is the vice president of the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum. Charles, thanks, thanks so much for being here with us today. This is a tough situation because that building houses so much important memorabilia from our area, and we sure don't want the roof to fail on that building and destroy all of the things that are inside. Right, that roof provides the shelter to one of the largest collections of artifacts really in northeastern Pennsylvania. And the problem is you're looking at a building in downtown Hazelson that's nearly a century old. It was built in 1924, intended or was constructed to be the Pioneer Firehouse, which had replaced your building that had served as Hazelton Borough Hall before the Hazelton uh, City Hall was constructed in 1913. And that roof uh, is in desperate need of repair. We're a nonprofit, we're local, we're entirely volunteer driven. And the reality is that we currently do not have the resources to get that roof replaced at this very moment. So we do have a fundraising goal of $23,000. And thanks to the generosity of the First Federal foundation we are working toward that goal but tom gabos the president of the historical society is working really hard to raise all the necessary funds to get this done as soon as possible we're a very storied city there's so much history in the hazelton area but we're, we're not known for our good weather so that roof needs to be replaced as soon as possible the sooner the better considering the circumstances so true, Charles. I mean, yeah, we, we really get rough winters and everything here. So, um, And there is so much inside of that museum. And now some new additions to it. Uh, recently, the sign from the Laurel Drive-In and also Bowl Arena. I mean, um, so really, you know, iconic venues from our area, big uh, who pl that played a big role in our past. All of us remember going to the drive-in, going to Bowl Arena. I mean, and that's how you preserve these memories, going into that museum and seeing what we had. So uh, it is really beautiful. And I don't think people realize the extent of how many floors are there and what is inside it. Because from the outside, you can't tell that there is that much inside that building. It's remarkable. It's, it's, it's deceiving. I agree. Uh, three floors, jam-packed with everything, and artifacts going back to the days of when Spring Mountain, it was this plateau of uh, huckleberry bushes, a uh, very thick forest, and a, a place known by the Moravians as Hazel Swamp, Hazel Swamp. So we have artifacts, in other words, dating to the earliest days of this area when it was this vast wilderness that transitioned into a coal village and then became a quite cosmopolitan city by the early 20th century. And yes, we are not short on signs, including uh, the most recent edition from Bowl Arena. And yeah, we were a city known for bowling alleys. So, I mean, to that, you know, with the recent closing of Bowl Arena, it, it would be comparable to think of Manhattan without an Irish pub. It's a remarkable thing that you know, the Hazleton proper doesn't have a bowling uh, alley, but 
uh, you can find all those stories, whether it's artifacts from Hazleton's very active bowling scene to local churches and much more at the museum. So it's worth visiting and you can reach out to us by calling us and scheduling uh, an appointment so we can arrange for a volunteer to provide the tour. There's no donation that's too small. I mean, you can give any amount. There's no requirement that there's a minimum donation. So people watching this, we hope that they will truly give a call to the museum, uh, you know, and make a, a donation that will help out to pay for this roof and preserve that building. Absolutely. We accept all donations. We're grateful for anything. I mean, for perspective, the cost to tour the museum when we have our open houses, it's $5 a frozen rate going back to the museum's founding in the early 1980s. So we're grateful for any donation and anything to help us reach our goal to just improve what is a very historic building that also happens to house the story of Hazleton. So true. Thanks for talking about this. It's very important to our area to preserve our history. For more information, you can visit hazeltonhistory.org and you can call the museum uh, to ask for a tour or to make a donation, maybe both. Uh, the number is 570-455-8576. Charles, thanks so much. I hope the next time we talk with you, it's good news that you've surpassed the goal. Today's news feature is brought to you by Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton. Remember, in an emergency, our emergency room is the safest place to be. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service on Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high near 85 degrees. On Tuesday night, mostly clear with a low around 66 degrees. We have a hazardous weather outlook for Wednesday afternoon as heat index values may reach 100 degrees. Wednesday, it's sunny with a high near 90 degrees. On Wednesday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly cloudy with a low around 70 degrees. We have a 20% chance of precipitation. On Thursday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 2 p.m., mostly sunny with a high near 88 degrees. We have a 30% chance of precipitation. On Thursday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms before 8 p.m., mostly clear with a low around 64 degrees. We have a 30% chance of precipitation. On Friday, sunny with a high near 86 degrees. And Friday night, mostly clear with a low around 65 degrees. Hazleton Area High School three-sport athlete Matthew Casatis was named to the Pennsylvania Track and Field Coaches Association All-State second team in the triple jump. Casatis finished second in the state at the AAA level in the triple jump this past season. Casatis also plays basketball and he was named to the football All-State team after the 2020 season. Casatis will be a senior this year at Hazleton Area. Coming up, a state trooper has some advice to keep us safe on the roads this summer. In sports, Dave Seaman returns. The standards Speaker Sports Editor is here to talk about the 50th anniversary of Title IX and how it changed women's sports in our area. The application period for the 2022 Troop N Junior Lion Leadership Academy is now open and applications are being accepted through July 31st. SCP TV News, Flight Sense, sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. David W. Netzel, 869 in Bukunji. A service will be held on July 30th at 11.30 a.m. at the Stevens Funeral Home in Allentown. Friends may call on July 30th from 11 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. at the Funeral Home. And Robert L. Bob Tipping of Drums. A service will be held on Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Harmon Funeral Home in Drums. Friends may call on Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Funeral Home. The Obituary Report is brought to you by Moran Funeral Home, third generation family owned funeral home serving all faiths since 1939. Located at 229 West 12th Street in Hazleton, call 570 454 8341 and go to moranfuneralhome.com. <laughs> 